assalamu alaikum today we will be discussing about peritoneum but before we go to the dressing of peritoneum let me first discuss some of the important terms which will be which we will be using in that so first of that those terms are omentum what is the omentum omentum is the double layer of peritoneum which joins stomach to other organs and what is mesentery mesentery is the double layer of peritoneum which joins any organ especially the intestines to the posterior abdominal wall here i have a diagram to show you this is just a hypothetical and diagram diagram just for understanding so if we if we consider that this is the stomach and this is let me sum So if we consider that this is the stomach and this is some other organ let it be say that it should be a liver so the omentum that is this is the double layer of the double layer of peritoneum this is one which is connecting the stomach and the liver is known as the omentum and the double layer of peritoneum which joins the any organ especially the intestines to the posterior abdominal wall is known as mesentery here we have the posterior abdominal wall this line is no, i have labeled as posterior abdominal wall and this is some let it, let it be say that this is small intestine so the double layer of peritoneum which is joining the small intestine to the posterior abdominal wall that this is this is called as mesentery okay so and then uh, the, there are the uh, ligaments which are attached to the stomach actually three ligaments are attached to the stomach or the omentum we can also uh, call these ligaments as omentum because they are joining the stomach to the other organs for example over here we have the omentum or the liver which joins the liver to the stomach this is known as gastrohepatic ligament or gastrohepatic omentum the ligament or omentum which joins the stomach to the small intestine sorry to the spleen this is spleen is called gastro splenic ligament and the ligament which joins stomach to the transverse mesocolon is called gastrocolic ligament as the peritoneum folds around the liver also so there are some of the relations with respect to liver which is discussed in the peritoneum and the tracing of the peritoneum so i thought necessary to tell you some of the terms of regarding the liver which will be used in the further lectures so liver liver is placed on the left side of the body okay liver has mainly two surfaces the diaphragmatic surface and the visceral surface here the diaphragmat in the visceral and the diaphragmatic surface is that surface which is present below the diaphragm so if above uh, here is the dome shaped diaphragm so this will be the this layer this layer this surface of the liver will, will be termed as the diaphragmatic surface of the liver and the diaphragmatic surface is also known as the anterior superior surface and the diaphrag uh, visceral surface of the uh, liver is that surface which is present posterior inferior so this is this will be posterior inferior or the visceral surface of the liver so okay the uh, liver has mainly two lobes this one the bigger one is known is the right lobe and the smaller one is the left lobe. okay so uh, the ligament which is attached to the um, liver are falciform ligament let me show you over here we'll be discussing this diagram now 
if this is the diaphragm so this this is the falciform ligament falciform this is the falciform ligament it is that ligament which joins the liver to the anterior abdominal wall and the liver to the diaphragm and this the this uh, ligament which you can see as a line this is known as coronary ligament coronary ligament so as you see that coronary ligament is that ligament which joins the liver to the inferior surface of the diaphragm so if we here draw again a liver and this is the falciform ligament this is the coronary ligament actually what happened that this is the diaphragm so coronary ligament has a superior coronary ligament and an inferior coronary ligament these are all the coronary ligament and where the superior and the inferior coronary ligament or the anterior and the posterior coronary ligament join they form a triangular coronary ligament over here we can see that it forms a triangular coronary ligament now we will come to this diagram to clear this concept of the triangular ligament again here i have shown the liver when we open up the liver we see that this is the anterior coronary ligament of right side and this is the posterior coronary ligament of the left side and where these two join they form this region they form a right coronary ligament okay over here also the, on the left side we see that this is the anterior coronary ligament and this is the posterior coronary ligament where these two ligaments join they form a triangular ligament and this as this is present on the left side so this will be called the left triangular ligament i would like to clear your concept of two major things infraperitoneal and the retroperitoneal retroperitoneal are those structures which are present outside of the peritoneum and peritoneum does not enclose it and the intraperitoneal are those structures which are present inside the peritoneum or peritoneum encloses it completely so this was about the introduction of the peritoneum thank you